When in Rome, do as the Romans do. I'm in Hong Kong, and before I gorge on dim sums, I thought, let me learn how to make dim sums. Dim sums are the staple food in Hong Kong. This is what they have with their family over weekends for lunch and breakfast, if you please. So I thought I'd get my friends, Chef Leon, and my partner in communication, Moses, to teach me how to make dim sums. So let's see how this goes. This is the steel skin we are going to wrap the shim. And you can see that Chef Learn are using appropriately two or three shim in one of the dumplings. Okay. Um, you can see it is a very uh, difficult task indeed because you have to wrap it in a very beautiful way. Uh, Chef Learn is doing the fingertip one by one and it will be completely close. We ensure this skin is very thin and well because we have to lock the water, lock the juice of the shim tightly. I knew this was not going to be easy and yeah. uh, okay, uh, I was never good in art and crafts but I'm going to... Nice! Can I try it? Okay. okay. Enough? Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Yes. Hi. Am I doing okay? Um, no! No, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me try. Flop, okay, sure. Yeah. It's not bad. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, you think I'll you think I learn it, I'll learn it. Just a few minutes into the dim sum making class and my dear chef said something to me. I failed to understand him, but I completely understood his emotions. I'm hopeless, hopeless at making dim sums. What do you think of this unique Sandhya dim sum? Chef? Mm? 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 Uh, okay. Okay, okay. He says okay. <laughs> this is the special Sandhya dim sum. It is... Uh, Almost there, it's not the perfect shape, but then... Steaming them at the right temperature is important. So here we are, putting my first ever dim sums to test. Woo, wish me luck. Wow. So I can see my masterpiece and I think I'm going to taste my masterpiece with my hands, if you don't mind, Indian style. Nice. I think the Sanjay masterpiece rocks. <laughs> Sanjay Dim Sim rocks. I'm going to go back to India and I'm going to make this for all my Indian friends. Very good. Mm. Dim Sim may belong to this land, but it is a hit amongst Indians. I'm told that over 20,000 Indians live in Hong Kong. So I wouldn't be surprised if I see some familiar faces as I enter my next stop, the Ocean Park. So Ocean Park is one of the largest uh, oceanariums and theme parks in Southeast Asia. Apparently it's a huge, huge attraction for Indians all over the world, which explains why I'm here. And it's supposed to have a lot of creative elements which we are looking forward to going inside and figuring out. Come with me, let's check it out. Away from the humdrum of the city, Ocean Park is one of a kind theme park spread across 870,000 square meters among the mountains in Hong Kong Island. You get to experience the amazing underwater world here. Pandas, dolphins, sea lions and sea jellies. Name it and they have a special zone dedicated to these animals. One is spoiled for choices with so many attractions to see. I, however, choose to explore a new, yet an old option. Okay, so this is old Hong Kong which has recently been created. So I'm going to go around and check this place out and see how different old Hong Kong is from the Hong Kong I've been seeing up to now. The spirit and aroma of the city during the 1950s can be felt as soon as you enter these gates. And all of that comes alive within just a few hundred meters. This walk of nostalgia welcomes you with a garlanded entrance. Ah! 
I was close to mastering one of the traditional games when a young Indian girl asked me for an autograph. Hi, hi, hello. Refusing her was the last thing on my mind as her smile was all too flattering. the roller coaster ride which apparently he's just told me is a two kilometer ride. It's been a while since I've done that. I feel like a bit of a kid now. Revisiting my childhood. Amazing ride, but one I truly enjoyed. Another must do on my bucket list completed. Ah! Time is whizzing by, but the fun is never ending. So let the good times roll with Mickey and his friends. And here finally at Disneyland Hong Kong. This has to be the greatest news for Indians that we finally have a Disney so close to home. And I'm going to add my name to the number of Indians that throng this place. I believe I'm going to be a part, or at least get to witness the Disney parade. Let's go in and check this out. Am I lucky or am I lucky? Getting up close and personal with one's childhood stars is worth every effort. And thanks to my charm and persistence, of course, I've managed to get to the front row view of the famous Disney parade. The parade includes seven floors, which celebrates the dreams of different Disney characters. A spectacle of colors and acrobatics. The Disney parade is every child's dream come true. But what amazes me is no matter what your age, the child in you never goes away. Where in Disneyland, there is never a dull moment with their employees. Sorry, they prefer to call themselves as cast members. They're all dressed up in different characters. They sure know how to charm you. That explains the number 5.9 million. No, it is not the population of Hong Kong that I'm talking about, but the number of footfalls in Disney last year. In this place, these guys are the stars. You see Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Winnie. These are the stars. These guys are bigger celebrities than anybody else that I know in Hong Kong. So now, I see Goofy and I think I'm going to say hello. From one goofy to another. Hey! What if I want to put my hand in my mouth? Will you bite me? 